गोइंग ऑन गाइस मैं हूं आपका होस्ट और आपका दोस्त रेन लवर एंड केम अप विद अ न्यू एपिसोड ऑफ रेन लवर शो Today we have a very special guest joining us straight away from Assam, a pool player, a traveler, a reader, a young entrepreneur, and the owner of Cafe Beans joining us today. And his name is Shekhar Malu. So hey Shekhar, thank you so much for joining us today. And how are you doing? I'm good, man. How are you? I'm doing absolutely fine. Thank you for joining us today on our show. So no Shekhar, thank you so much. So Shekhar, as we know, uh, like already, uh, school education system has already been passed out, like you know, yes. uh, and more of the changes has been done. So, uh, and you are into the same, uh, you know, uh, you you have been, uh, you are the youngest and entrepreneur, like as what your bio says. So, would you like to say something and include uh, some of your points in that? So see, uh, it was very simple for me. I started at a very early age. So I started working when I was sixteen. So and uh, from there it started. And I always wanted to, like, I, I never wanted to work for someone else. I always wanted to, you know, have my own thing. But to do that, I needed experience. So as every, as you know, that I am a chef, and uh, I started working in a restaurant as a waiter, and then I worked my way up. To the kitchen, and then I became the chef there. So this journey started from there, and now, as you know, that I own a cafe and I run that restaurant. So yeah, that's it. Oh wow, that's really interesting. So Shikhar, as you are from Jorhat, Assam, so we wanted to know ki weather kaise hai abhi Assam ka. It's like yeah. raining or something. Yes, yes, it's 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 raining for a couple of days. बट एक हफ्ते से बहुत ज्यादा गर्मी थी यार ओके और मोस्टली आसाम का वेदर कैसा रहता है मोस्टली देखिए मोस्टली इट्स गुड यार इट्स नॉट दैट बैड इट रेन्स अ लॉट हियर इट्स लाइक ड्यूरिंग समर्स इट्स हॉट इट्स एंड ड्यूरिंग विंटर्स इज फ्रीकिंग कोल्ड सो या ओवरऑल द वेदर इज नॉट दैट बैड इट्स गुड That's amazing. So, Shikhar, we uh, wanted to know, like, why should the uh, entrepreneurial team begins with the end in mind? Ha, uh, what? Sorry, I didn't get you. What? Uh, w- why should the entrepreneurial team begin with the end in mind? See, entrepreneur is. See, I'll tell you. It's it's a very big word. Entrepreneur is a very big word, and you just don't. It's it's not that you start a business and you become an entrepreneur. Right, that's basically how you become an entrepreneur. But if you get it in the real sense of it, you have to work really hard for that, and you know you have to start from the scratch. You cannot just one day sit, go and sit at your dad's business and say that you are an entrepreneur. No, you can't do that. So yeah, it's 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 a process which you know which you need to learn and you, which you you know. If you start it from your own, you know how to do it, and you know how to deal with it. Because there are a lot of ups and downs when you start a new business. So yeah, that's it. That's like, like I'll tell you about. I'll tell you everything about it. You know, as the interview goes on. Thank you so much, Shikhar. So uh, we wanted to know, uh, according to you, uh, what is the right time to start a business or to start something kind of a startup so what do you suggest what do you say about it see, see to start a business there's no right time to start a business you have to be ready to start a business and uh, look before you start your own business you need to have a bit of experience before you start because see starting a business is not a big deal you can start a business if you have a good amount of you know even if you have the minimum amount of capital with you you can start the business the most important thing to start a business is the experience so my suggestion would be that you know first work gain some experience and then start a business see as as i don't know if you know this or not kfc was started when the colonel was 65 
so what i am saying is and mark zuckerberg became a he was the youngest billionaire at the age of 23 so there is no right time to start business it's all about you know the correct mindset and the correct experience and the willingness to start a business that's all that matters oh yeah uh, like that that was like really an an amazing explanation when you're given by you so shekhar uh, what do you say ki uh, is it really important to invest on a business at a very early stage or this is something like you have to go through with some educations and like you know ek entrepreneur wala jo ek extra ek courses hote hain like graduation mm-hmm. kind of <laughs> i don't think so it's not important that you go through a course or something but it always helps that you know you have you have studied about it see i'll tell you course is not important but studying the thing which you are going to start making a study case study about see i have a restaurant right so before starting a restaurant i worked for 8 years in a restaurant so i am not a certified uh, like i did not get a chef ka degree from any college but i had 8 years ka experience so see it's not always important to have a degree but it helps but before starting a business you need to have the knowledge of that business the in and out of that business the ups and downs of that business that is very important rather than having a degree or not okay so according to you uh what do you say like what is the right uh, you know up kind of a profitable uh, profitable business in india for now that's a very tricky question my friend like what's the profitable business <laughs> see i cannot say what's profitable what's not see i'll tell you I, I, this is a, see, whenever someone starts a business right so he keeps he or she keeps in mind that this business will earn them a huge amount of profit because someone in that field is earning a good amount of money from the business right see so for example you want to start a medical store right so you see someone running a medical store and earning a lot of money out of it right that's when you decide that okay i also want that correct yes yes that's- so that's true right so the thing is that but when you start the but you cannot start something by looking at someone else that okay both ne paise kama raha hai to main bhi kama lunga you have to have the knowledge of whatever you are starting so i cannot say what will give you profit what i can see if you want to earn a profit out of a business you have to dedicate yourself into that business and into your dreams otherwise no matter whichever business you start that will go under loss if you don't dedicate your time and your dreams into that okay so shekhar uh, like as as you have started your own cafe which is cafe beans and one of a very famous and one of the very elegant cafe there in assam jorhat and uh, like almost everybody knows about it so according to you uh, what is your uh, thought process about like uh, starting a business or uh, to join uh, to do a job basically so what is the relation between uh, these two things see the thing is that job gives you experience see the job is like see when you start your business you invest your own money into it but if you don't have the know how of what you have to do in a business there are high chances that you are going to lose your money job gives you that experience which you need to start your own business see if you want see if you want to become a chef right you either go for a course or you work somewhere before start, or if you want to run a restaurant you must you should go and you know get a job or try to get a job in some other restaurant you know know the in and out like i'm talking about restaurant because i have a restaurant business like it like it applies to all the businesses which you want to start you need to have the know how of how that business is is run and you should it's always good to have an experience and you'll only get experience when you get a job so if you want to start a grocery store you should go and see and you know work there for at least say for some time so that you know how does a you know how does a grocery stores or grocery store operates before we open one 
it's always easy to open with your own money but it's very difficult to run a place so if you know job gives you that experience to run your own business and plus when you you know when you go for a job you always have that extra cash at the end of the month which you can keep it as savings so when you start your own business you can use that savings to start your own business instead of asking from other people or loaning it from bank Oh okay so shekhar according to you uh, like a job gives the uh, experience and business is again you are the owner of the company so uh, in that terms uh, what do you say like uh, where that angel investors mostly or the venture capitalist uh, they come into the picture see angel investors and see uh, angel investors and uh, venture capitalist they come see okay they come you come out from a very good college right and see, oh, yes, most yeah. of the angel investors and your venture capitalist see most of those guys who want to start who starts their startup right they have worked under someone they work under someone they work under someone and then they think that now they can start on their own and then they invest another 2 to 3 years of their life to develop a certain product which these angel investors and venture capitalist will invest on so you have to be very precise and you have to be very careful with the product which you want to make so that these angel investors and venture capitalist invests in your product in your product because these guys are taking a huge risk by investing their money on you but they also these startup the angel angel investors and venture capitalists they also look at your experience they will not they will not go and just invest on you because you are doing something you need to have experience otherwise they won't invest in you and your product has to be good that was uh, shekhar really a very informative uh, you know uh, uh, informative lines and informative thoughts you have shared with us so uh, nowadays what is exactly is happening is after uh, students uh, like you know they are passing their class 12 and uh, they are even uh, due to due to the due to the vast modernization of the world and people are like uh, they are not going for further studies and they are just even planning that they need to uh, do a startup and uh, kind of a business and most of the time what is happening is uh, people have money their their parents throw money on them and mostly uh, it is just it just get dissolved matlab khatam ho jata hai they they do, don't get anything in return so in that scenario uh, what do you basically suggest i suggest that you know uh, before investing your own money just look at how like it's like you have to be serious about what you're going to do because investing money is not a big deal you like today your parents can invest and tomorrow someone else will invest on you but if you keep on failing and if you don't if you're not serious about what you're going to do or whatever you want to do one day people will stop investing in you and that will be the day people uh, you you know guys who wants to start anything will have problem so before starting anything you have to be sure about that like if you want to start you know a it company or a restaurant or a grocery store or a medical store or a tattoo you want to be a tattoo artist you have to be sure about it it's not like that you know today just because you have money you started something and after 6 months you got bored of it and then you shut it down and you start something else that cannot happen no matter how many investors you have no matter how much money your parents has you have to be serious about things if you are not serious about it no matter how much money you invest in your business it's not going to succeed okay and according to you shekhar like uh, what is the core and important part uh, to analyze before uh, investing and to before starting a business you have to study the market what kind of, like it depends on what kind of a business you want to start you have to study the market you have to see your competitors how many competitors do you have in your market you have to uh, you, know, you know you have to go to the prices of the market the profit margins in which you want to play in uh the demographic of that area uh the age of the customers like you know the the targeted age group like which age group do you want to target right so there are a lot of factors which comes into play the you know the the location of the market 
you know how far is it from you know like the kind of business if you want to do a certain kind of business how easy will it how easy will it be for you to get the raw materials to that place or to sell it to the customers the income of the average people of that area you know there are a lot of factors which come to, comes into play before you start a business you cannot just see it's it's like it's, it's very simple you cannot go to a village and open a big mall there because people won't be able to afford it there right that is why we do right. some big big malls in villages and small towns because people cannot afford it but you see big malls and multiplexes in big cities like delhi mumbai bangalore chennai pune like this big metropolitan cities right but you don't see it see you know big malls and multiplexes in small cities so you have to study the market before you start your business anywhere yeah that's true and uh, shaker now nowadays what is basically happening that everybody like every youngster is nowadays becoming a youtuber and uh, okay. we, we have heard in couple of the you know uh, in couple of the uh, media broadcasted uh, that uh, pe- like children are basically they are uh, they are avoiding their studies and they are starting their youtube channel so uh, what do you what do you say like uh, starting a youtube channel is again a startup or that's that's something a kind of a hobby they can do so you can uh, see most of us most of the, i think i think okay, again this is my point of view that most of them they started as a hobby and see everyone wants to become famous and youtube gives you that platform so it's like it's it's, a, it's kind of a startup for some people because they invest a lot of their time and money into it by buying good cameras and you know editing and whatever the channel they want to do right so it's not like a star- i won't say it's a startup per se but yeah a lot of youngsters are getting attracted to it. that's a good thing you know you should always have options see studies will help you but as they say right if you ask a fish to climb a tree to prove its worth it will not it it will you know the fish will think uh, for the entire life fish will think that he is not worth anything so what i'm saying is it's not always like some people are good in study some of the people are good in you know making videos or you know uh, singing dancing stand up comedy so if youtube gives them that platform why not they can do it okay so uh, shikhar what uh, so what you basically suggest uh, like to, like basically what what bias might an entrepreneur encounter in starting the venture that again depends so there are a lot of biases which an entrepreneur uh, you know might face depending on the kind of business that they are doing see for example uh, i started a cafe i am a jain so i started a non veg cafe so the bias which i faced was that how can i do it being a jain how can i start a non veg cafe so there are a lot of biases which an entrepreneur faces see the society how the society will react how the public will react how the government or the authorities will react to the kind of business which you want to do how the surrounding people how your friends are going to react so it's at the end of the day you have to be true to your goal and you have to be true to your work and you know you cannot think about other people or what other people will think or the what biases are out there if you are if you are sure about the project which you want to start or if you are sure about the business which you have started just be true to that and at the end of the day everything will play out and everything will fall in place okay and and shekha uh, what according to you like starting a venture alone or with some partners so uh, how that basically works so do you have partners on your business too no no i don't have any partners in my business i am the only one which is there but see again it depends on uh, but, but again it, it depends on individual to individual like i don't work that well along with partners but some of them are there but it's not like i've never been in a partnership i i, I had a small uh, cafe in bangalore so we were three friends and it was a very good partnership so but again it depends from one person to another it depends from individual to individual if you have a good bonding with someone and you want to start something together then they can absolutely go for partnership so the thing is that you should always start a partnership with someone whom you have absolute trust on and you know you know that even if something like even if you have difference in opinion 
यू गैस कैन फिगर समथिंग आउट यू नो बीच का रास्ता निकाल सको तुम लोग अपने बीच में करेक्ट बट अगेन इट डिपेंड्स फ्रॉम इंडिविजुअल टू इंडिविजुअल इफ यू वॉन्ट गो फॉर पार्टनरशिप यू शुड गो फॉर पार्टनरशिप इफ यू थिंक दैट यू नो यू कैनॉट वर्क दैट वेल विद अदर पीपल एंड यू थिंक दैट यू नो यू आर हैप्पी अ लोन एंड यू वॉन्ट वर्क अ लोन यू वॉन्ट स्टार्ट समथिंग अ लोन यू शुड गो फॉर दैट ओके सो शिकर एज वी ऑल नो लाइक स्टार्टिंग अ बिजनेस विद पार्टनर्स सो देर आर सो मेनी कॉन्फ्लिक्स दैट बेसिकली हैपन्स So, according to you, what can be done to avoid personal problems that occur after the venture has opened? See, uh, like, just uh, my suggestion is keep it as professional as you can because your friendship or you know your relationships should not come in the middle of the dealing of your business because that's a professional place, and you are friends or. you know you are brothers or you are whatever you are relatives outside of that business entity when you are there at the business entity you know you have to think for the good of that business that what can be done to improve that business or the company which you guys have started together and keeping your personal life out of that business entity as much as possible will help your business to grow and you know not having attitude issues with each other because at the end of the day one's target should be to grow the business or the company which they have started together oh okay that's that's great shikhar and uh, this program is powered by strimfony originals go do check out the website uh, link in the description and do follow uh, singer of media on their social for their upcoming contests and you can have a big blast So Shekhar um we wanted to know like what is uh, why it is important to feel comfortable with a disc- uh, with a decision or a discussion with a partner or uh, for taking any like you know uh, important major for your venture it's not you don't have to feel comfortable so business is not about if you are comfortable with the decisions or not sometimes you have to take decisions which make you uncomfortable but that's good for the business so it's not about if you are comfortable with it or not or your partner is comfortable with it or not your business has to be comfortable with it because your business is the priority and rest everything can wait so you don't have to be comfortable you have to take this decisions which makes your business comfortable and uh, shekhar what do you say like it is really important to uh, do like you know uh, uh, engineering or mba BBA. It is really important to be a entrepreneur. No, straight answer is no. You don't have to be do BBA or MBA or BCom or anything to be an entrepreneur. You just have to have the passion and the experience to do it and the willingness to be something. And uh, what are the benefits in becoming a mentor or a consultant or a champion? Benefits. Yes. Like the benefits. I don't. I don't benefits of being a consultant as a career or. Yeah, or in general, like as a career, or you can say like if if somebody wants to become a mentor or a consultant, so is there any benefits behind behind? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, it is. It is. It is because there are a lot of people out there who needs a lot of consultancy and who need mentors to guide them. because they don't have that initial experience or they don't have the technical know how of how to do things right and it's it's a very good field which you know if a, if if someone wants to go in that field and you know start a career out of it it's a very good career to do because there are a lot of people who need guidance and you know if you are good at guiding people and if you have the experience why not why not consult and guide someone Oh okay that's very really amazing and uh, Shekhar uh, like we we even knew that you have even started your uh, YouTube channel which is uh, Tea Talk so how it is going Yeah it's good man like yeah it's good like it's not that big a channel so I started it because I always wanted to do talk about you know uh, current affairs and things which matter to me the most so yeah it's a channel about that uh if you know if you if you guys get if your viewers get or your listeners you know have time they can go out and check my youtube channel and see you know if they like it or not so listeners uh, we have got shikhar 
social media social handles mentioned down in the description and the youtube channel link so go and check it out so shekhar used to create very motivational videos and very inspiring videos uh, regarding the latest topics which were is going on across the globe and also you can check out his uh, instagram and facebook he is like super active on his socials so do go and check and follow shekhar and be stay updated with the with his upcomings and his new updates on his youtube channel as well so uh, shekhar thank you so much for joining us we are we are we are in the end of the show so would you like to uh, say something to our uh, young entrepreneurs see the only thing which i want to tell them is just believe in your goals and you know don't listen to what people around you are saying work hard and at the end of the day it will pay off that's all i want to say thank you so much shekhar and thank you so much for joining us today on the universe show we appreciate we we are like we are we are feeling really happy to have you on our show for today and it's a pleasure to meet you again so thank you so much for joining us and signing off